Hello Nansen Explorers. We have a new dashboard which is available for free. So you don't even need to be a Nansen user to access this dashboard. And it's a dashboard on Aave. So you probably know Aave already if you're into DeFi. Uh, it's a money market protocol where you can both save money and get interests on it. Uh, or you can borrow money if you already have collateralized some of your existing crypto assets. And so we work closely with Aave to create a dashboard for the whole Aave community. And it has four different sections. And I'll briefly go over what these sections are uh, in this video. So the first one is token distribution. The second one is the safety module. The third one is governance. And the fourth is risk. And so you can find this dashboard at pro.nansen.ai slash Aave. You don't need to have um, a Nansen account to access this, this dashboard. And I'll show you by going to an incognito window uh, that you can load it. And if you like it, you can click up here to the right to start a seven day trial um with nonsense to access more dashboards okay so token distribution effectively shows a couple of different erc20 tokens that are related to ave so it shows the new ave token it shows shows lend which is their former token that they they are in the process of migrating from um, and it shows a ave and staked ave and so we've put these together, together to make it a bit more convenient to see the growth, for example, of number of holders of these assets, because it's quite common for an Aave holder to either stake them or even lock them up as collateral in the Aave platform itself. And so here you can see how many addresses are holding, you know, at least one of these different tokens over time. And you can see it's been growing pretty much linearly uh, for a while now. And you can also see a distribution of how much tokens are being held. And we've put these together so that Lend and Aave are actually combined. Um, and we just divided Lend by 100 because that's how the, the conversion rate has been when you migrate from Lend to Aave. Um, and so you can really you know, break that down and see the, the distribution uh, of how much different wallets are, are holding. You can also see where <clears throat> the different these different Aave tokens are sitting. And so, you know, it's broken down on some Aave specific addresses like um, the ecosystem reserve or the migrator, which is where most of the Lend tokens are sitting because they've already been migrated from Lend to Aave. And you can also see who are the top entity holders, you know, combining these different Aave tokens, which is not how you would normally look at it if you just looked it up on, say, Token God Mode or even other sites like Etherscan. And you can also see um, the top individual holders. So over here are the entity holders where we kind of know like what the entities are. So if it's Aave or Binance, OKX, Huobi, etc. Uh, but over here it's just you know looking at um, wallets in general so it doesn't have to be a known entity uh, necessarily and so you can see how ave a ave and staked ave are summed up and then you can also see the cumulative holdings um, of that as you go down the list to see you know how much do you know all these rows above all these addresses above hold in total of the total supply basically so that's the the token distribution section there's also a safety module section. Um, and so you can see how much is being staked. So <clears throat> effectively, um, here you can see, for example, the evolution of uh, staked Aave over time. And so the left axis were, will show you, you know, the total by hovering over, you can see it a bit cl more clearly um, that, you know, in this case, it's almost 3 million total stake Aave. And you can see how the the um, uh, APY or the returns, you know, on the staking yields effectively uh, have evolved over time. As you get more stakers, the APY goes down, right? But it's still sitting at around 5% APY um, returns when you stake your Aave tokens. 
you can also see the top stakers, which is quite cool. So you can see which addresses are uh, the ones that are, you know, locking up the most Aave tokens. And some of them have ENS names, some familiar faces here, perhaps, um, and also some some other descriptive labels. Like the top one is a is a big Gnosis Safe um, wallet. So it's a multi-sig that's been created through the Gnosis Safe um, project. All right, governance shows the results uh, of the last, the latest vote, in this case, AIP1. And so this section will be replaced with newer votes um, as new votes uh, take place. And you can also see how the largest voters voted. So, you know, what did they vote and how much tokens did they have uh, to contribute with in their vote? Then risk, um, the, the last section, but very very interesting on its own as well let me just close discord here for a moment so risk you can see for example which assets are locked up in the money market itself in the money protocol Ave. and it's quite nice because we've got you know the if you just look at the height of the bar that's kind of the total amount of of liquidity um but we've broken it down so you can see how much has been borrowed as well and that gives you an, an indication of you know, how much is, is available. So there's a big difference between, like, first of all, you see there's a lot of link available if you measure it in US dollars. This is measured in USDC or basically US dollars. There's a lot of it uh, uh, locked up in Aave, but a lot of it's available uh, liquidity. So, it, it, you know, relatively speaking, it'll, it'll have a pretty low interest rate. But if you look at something like USDC, you know, there's a much higher amount of tokens that have been borrowed and so there's not as much available liquidity, even if, you know, there's a lot of money that's been locked up um, and, and, you know, the debt and the assets that are sitting in the protocol combined is effectively what this shows. Right. So this is quite interesting. And you can also see the daily amounts that have been deposited uh, and withdrawn and also amounts borrowed and then repaid over time across um, the whole money market. Um, the last section here is also under under risk, right? And it's looking at the liquidity and utilization history per asset. So you can look at ETH, for example, and you know you don't see the the, the markers here on how much it is, but you can just hover over to get the actual values. It's just to make it a bit more economical the way we display the data. So you can see that there's a 9.8% utility on Ether, for example. But there's a six, almost 65% utilization on DAI. So relatively speaking, a lot more people are borrowing the DAI that's available uh, on the platform. Um, and one thing I picked up here, which I found kind of interesting, if you look at um, YFI, so you can look at you know, these assets over time. You can look at the total liquidity and you can look at the utilization. So there's a little peak here, right? And maybe some people have been aware of the recent Y squeeze that took place. And so, you know, if you just look up the price on say CoinGecko of Wi-Fi, um, you'll see that the utilization rate actually peaked right at the bottom um, of the, the price of Wi-Fi. So if we zoom out on this one, you see the bottom here is about 5th of, of November. Um, at around 8,000, I think it was even a bit below that at some point yeah like seven thousand just below eight thousand dollars per wifey token and fifth of november was actually that peak um so sometimes you can better understand you know what might be a driver for for price so in this case there was a um a bit of a short squeeze because people had been borrowing wifey from ave and then selling them off effectively creating a short position and when people start withdrawing Wi-Fi from the platform or uh, the price just spikes and um, these uh, these um, borrowers will have you know problems with their positions. And so you know it spiked here effectively. The demand for Wi-Fi became very high. Um, and so that could be you know one way to understand a bit better what actually happened. Uh, on the 5th of November with Wi-Fi and the, and the Wi-Fi price. So that's pretty much it. Um, this is one of the 
few dashboards that we offer for free through uh, collaboration with Aave, which has been great. Uh, so you can go to pro.nansen.ai slash Aave, and you can see this um, dashboard, even if you're not a Nansen customer. So just head over there and play around with the dashboard yourself. Take care.